WHO, as is well known, has been supporting eye care, blindness elimination programs all over the world globally from the last, uh, from the inception itself. We just had the publication a couple of years ago on World Report on Vision, which brought about the concept of integrated people-centered eye care. That is, unless we have a people-centered eye care, we are unable to deal with cataract and other causes of blindness which have been all over the world, including the uncorrected refractive errors, which means not lead to blindness, but to severe loss of vision compromises there. That's one. Thirdly, the WHO has come up recently with global targets. The two targets, one is on cataract uh, surgical rate to be improved, and the other one is the uncorrected refractive errors elimination, so that by 30 uh, percentage points and 40 percentage points, this needs to be done. Interestingly, WHO Sierra, that is the Southeast Asia Regional Office, has come up with an additional target, and that is for diabetic retinopathy, which has come up there to eliminate and to support that. And it's an ambitious target. It says that 80% of diabetics should have their vision checked, retina checked, and 80% of those who need uh, maybe lasers and other treatments should get it. So those have been some of the points. But another addition is that WHO Sierra has come up with a guidance document on how to integrate eye care into primary health care services. The concept of integrated people-centered eye care, which the World Report on Vision brought out, and there's a resolution by WHO's um, uh, main body, um, which talks about it, how do we implement it in the countries. If to simplify, what it means is, take the eye care to the people. and do it from the people's requirement rather than the, from the program's requirement. It talks about how can the services, whether for medicines, surgeries can be brought about, the access improved to them, the access to services in many parts of the world, especially to the marginalized and even to the women, is much less than what is required. So that is where the inter integrated people-centered eye care talks about is bring all these threads together and see to it that the programs actually benefit the people who need to be benefited. Optometry is one of the most important things, the areas which we require. And WHO feels and many people feel that's no more a supporting area. It's actually one of the pivots, one of the crucial pivots we have for uh, reducing uh, you know, visual loss and of course eliminating blindness. How do we bring it into primary health care is a question uh, which raised and there have been paradoxes that is, although it's a pivot, but the number of optometrists in any part of uh, Southeast Asia, maybe except Thailand, are nowhere near where it is required. So there's a paucity of, of the people which is there. So we need to improve the numbers. Secondly, we need to integrate, first of all, the optometrists into the eye care programs, and then bringing the eye care program into the primary health care. So this is going to be delayed further and we can ill afford it. We need the optometry and the optometrist to be an integral part of the primary health care today, now.